Do we have a new king of the ultra budget laptops? Well, almost. I'm Dan Ackerman and this is the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S. It is a newer entry in this growing field of computers that cost basically less than $200 and yet are still fairly functional, uh, fairly usable for everyday tasks. You've got things like the HP Stream 11, which is about $200, a clamshell 11 inch laptop much like this, runs Windows 10. Uh, you've got inexpensive things like the Intel Compute Stick. Uh, that's basically a full mini desktop PC the size of a big USB key that's only a little bit more than $100. And now we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S uh, for $199. Comes in a variety of fun colors, which is nice, including this muted red right here. There's also blue, uh, silver, and white. And it's got an Intel Atom processor, as you would expect from something in this price range, along with two gigs of RAM and a very small uh, amount of storage, 32 gigs of solid state storage. But that's pretty much what you get in this category, along with a low-res, non-touch, 1366 by 768 display. Uh, the reason the Lenovo stands out as one of the better examples of this genre is because it's got a typically uh, excellent Lenovo keyboard on it, island-style keys, but like other Lenovo systems, they curve out just a little bit at the bottom, give you something for your finger to catch on to. Uh, really the best keyboard I've seen on one of these ultra-budget systems. Unfortunately, the flip side to that is that the touchpad is a huge source of frustration and might be a deal breaker for you if you're looking at the system because it's not a click pad style pad. It, it's an older style that has separate left and right mouse buttons. Uh, and it also does not support multi-touch gestures. So you can't do two fingers scrolling when you're going up and down long web pages or tap two fingers down to get a right click. Especially without a touch screen, that's, that's very important to have if you're reading an article or scrolling through your Facebook feed and not having it hugely, hugely frustrating. Uh, it could very easily cause you to, to put aside this system and get something else like the HP version instead, even though the design and chassis and keyboard are much better here. But anyway, you slice it, you are getting something that'll work for uh, you know everyday tasks, web surfing, online shopping, social media for less than $200. That's something that would have been unimaginable just a few years ago. I'm Dan Ackerman and that is the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S.